emergency today. <laughs> Dane Daniels had his NFL superstar coming out party last Ouch. night. Three total touchdowns while completing 91% of his passes, a new rookie record for the game. Cam Taylor Britt said Jaden was running a college offense. Uh, well, here he is after the game. You know, ma'am, I do not regret it. Um, and I didn't mean anything malicious out of the comment. Uh, it was just made bigger than what it was. Um, yes, I can eat my words most definitely. Uh, we did take a hell today. But as a team, uh, it was sort of caught us off very quick, uh, quick throws. Uh, he's very athletic in his thin plays. Uh, and that's how the game went. Is Daniels looking like a superstar to you, bro? Yeah. I mean, he's – he. I know it's early, but, I mean, he's been awesome. Even the first two games where I know his QBR and stuff was low, no turnovers. He's got no turnovers through his first three games. And I, what I like is his poise. You saw him in the pocket and his accuracy. He's leading the league at 81% completion percentage. And look at this this last pass. We all saw it get, ended up being I mean, the game is winner. So he gets, he gets drilled yeah. and still threw a per – now, he knew he was going to get he, drilled. That's the and key. he hung in there, and right? that's to win the game. Yes. And so that's the poise, Shout the accuracy. The He's a great runner. He's very good in the pocket. Yeah. I, I, and I like his attitude too. Like he yeah. seems like he's got a great, uh, you know, attitude. So yeah, I, he looks he looks the part. Yeah, he absolutely looks the part. And, and a large part is because you see what supporting a rookie quarterback looks like. They have a run game. You have a tight end that gives you comfort. You yep. have a receiver that you trust when you move push the ball down the field. We just saw that play. Mm -hmm. And then a, a lot of it has to do with he's just he's just ready. We saw this, and I. I I know I'm going to make this comparison, but C.J. Stroud did this very thing last year yeah. where we weren't expecting anything from the Texans, and then C.J. Stroud makes us pay attention. That's what this young man is doing right now. We're, 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 we're waiting for him to play like a rookie, but maybe he's just not going to do that because he has the support, one, and number two, he's just that good. Mm. Uh, th so... I, I'll give most of my Daniels commentary because we're short on time during Mahomes Mountain. Oh, uh, I thought the throw to McLaurin was the play of the year in the NFL as far as degree of difficulty on yeah. both ends of it, right. icing yeah. a game, all of it. The only and I picked the, this team to finish second in their division. The only okay, so we don't get to see the rest of that because it's then going to cut off. First off, he picked them to be second in the division just because he thinks the Eagles are trash, not because he thinks the Commanders are good. So let's not have revisionist history. He was picking the Chicago Bears and Caleb Williams to go all the way to the Super Bowl, and he thinks that Dallas is a top team. So no, 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 no. Me, on the other hand, I actually picked the Washington Commanders to make the playoffs, right? Okay, I actually had them have them up there. So make no mistake about that. Um, I have over 15 videos talking about Jaden Daniels and the Washington Commanders. Now, Jaden Daniels is going to work, how he's going to compete with Caleb Williams, how um, him and Cliff Kingsbury are going to be a match made in heaven. I mean, I, I got all the receipts, you know, like I got all all, all of these things. Jayden, I even predicted this. Jaden Daniels is set to break out versus the Bengals on Monday Night Football. I posted that on Friday. And then I got takes months ago. And it's funny because I even predicted this as well. I said, Jaden Daniels, Washington Commanders have to fight media bias because of Caleb Williams. And that's been the case. It's been all talk about Caleb Williams and not about Jaden Daniels, right? Even this game right here is not really getting the credit that it's getting, right? All the other games are, are before it and all the talks are, are more about Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, whatever it may be. Imagine if this was Caleb Williams who bought out like this, who just set the rookie record for a completion percentage. They would be talking about it nonstop. They, it would be insane. It would be all over. It would be its own separate segment. Instead, it's a segment. They're short on time. We're going to talk a little bit about it a little bit later. It's just, you know, it's just, it, it's really kind of frustrating. And, and nothing on them. I this shock Jaden Daniels better than Lamar Jackson with Washington. Um, Stun Jane Daniels could win rookie of the year with Washington Commanders. I'm telling you, I just got endless clips. Jaden Daniels gives Washington Commanders an identity. I, I, I can legit just go um, all day with it. Like, I, like, you can go look it up, go search um, on my channel, the things that I've been saying. I, I got video after video after video. Um, so, yeah, that's why this has been my victory. Not even my victory. La my victory tour all day today. When I saw that game last night, I was just, I had an ear to ear smile.
my whole the whole time because it was just what Jaden Daniels and the Washington Commanders were able to do was just nothing short of remarkable. And honestly, just the first couple of drives, the Bengals, they marched down and effortlessly score a touchdown like it was nothing. Honestly, they did, the Bengals. They got the home crowd, they're home, the fans are going nuts, it's insane. And what does Jaden Daniels do? Leads a touchdown drive. He's like, yeah, we got it too, man. Ain't no thing, let's go. And it was just, oh God, it was so amazing. And then they score again and now they have the lead. And now you could feel Troy Aikman and Joe Buck. And they're just like, this is not how we expected this game to go. And if you watch that broadcast, watch it live like I did, um, you have Troy Aikman genuinely um, speechless, many moments. And he just starts laughing at times. He's just like, that was a heck of a throw, heck of a play by Jaden Daniels, a heck of a play call by Cliff Kingsbury. I mean, like, they were just, like, blown away. They really, really were. And then I actually did their post game, and Troy was just like, I, what, what can you say about this kid? It's remarkable. It's so exciting. The only drawback of Jaden is take less hits, right? You know, slide, get down, get out of bounds. Don't take those hits. I beg you, Jaden Daniels, please, please, please just don't get those hits. But the way he was using his legs to buy time, to extend plays, to continue to look down the field was remarkable. He's doing everything right now that people thought Caleb Williams was going to do from the jump, including Nick Ray, including lots of people, including myself even, right? I said, I thought both these guys were going to be great. I was just really emphasizing Jaden Daniels because nobody was, and it did not make sense to me. And I kept saying, Cliff Kingsbury is for real. He is a legit offensive mind in the NFL. He was scapegoated in Arizona. That was a disaster. It was one of the worst run um, franchises, not even in my opinion. It's the player's opinion in the player's poll that they oh, that they have through the uh you know nfl pa um you know the the gm had to leave because of family issues i don't know what that was you know so no no shade at that just an unfortunate circumstance regardless um he, he seems like a nice person but just obviously you know it wasn't working out um and you know kyler murray is very difficult to work with and so many and they were decimated by injuries but when they were healthy when they had things going well um cliff kingsbury was leading the way right you know make no mistake about it and that's what he's now able to do with Jaden daniels right and dan quinn is a great head coach because it's very collaborative he lets um he he lets uh cliff kingsbury be cliff he lets him run the offense as he sees fit and i said that i said this is going to be such a great marriage together and that dan quinn is also going to offer some defensive insights for Jaden, and it's just going to be this perfect blend i said the only issue is that most likely cliff kingsbury will be gone within a couple years because he's going to get he's going to have so much success with Jaden daniels that people are going to want to hire him as their head coach and i said that that's actually the biggest issue that the washington commanders unfortunately have but it's a good problem to have you know uh so this is just a big win this is exciting most people think even though the Bengals are are zero and three it's still it's still joe burrow jamar chase t higgins right they 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 made this same team made patrick mahomes look average they, they met Patrick Mahomes was like a bottom quarterback against uh, the Bengals, right? Could have had like three interceptions. I mean, just he, they, he was uncomfortable the whole game. The Bengals had that game won. And what does Jaden Daniels do? I'll tell you what he did. He was the number one quarterback in the NFL. Before, you know, on yesterday, on Monday's show, Nick came out and said, Caleb Williams is the best quarterback and uh, best rookie quarterback. And I was like, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. And it was also like he showed the numbers and it was before Jaden even played his game on Monday, which is, you know, OK, that's understandable because of the, the time of when these shows are recorded, of course. And um, then you have this game. And I'm not going to say Jaden Daniels was the best quarterback, was the best rookie quarterback. He was the best quarterback in the NFL in week three. Not close. He absolutely was considering what he had to do what he was asked to do, what he did on the road in a close game against the Bengals, right? Josh Allen obviously put up numbers and you guys know I'm super high on Josh Allen. I think he's amazing. I think he's the best quarterback in the NFL right now. And he put up numbers, but it was in a blowout against the Jags. Nothing really at stake here. This was a rookie quarterback on the road. Fans are going insane. He loses his number one running back, right? The real guy that they could just feed and say, please get us some yards, right? 
I mean, things were going to look, things for a minute look like they were about to crumble. He takes a sack, then they get a penalty, and you're just like, all right, this is what's going to happen. It's a young team. It's tough to win this. They're on the road. This is why home field advantage matters. This is why experience matters. And what does he do? Throws a seam to Zach Ertz, gets the first down, keeps marching down the field, throws that ball, gets the touchdown. Start to finish, an absolute beautiful game. There's no other way to look about it. I've been waiting hours. I watched this game at midnight. I've been waiting to do all these clips, and there hasn't been enough. It's so frustrating. Um, I will do also a separate clip for the Mahomes Mountain. Not only the Mahomes Mountain as a whole, but then I'll also just react specifically to his thoughts on Jane Daniels. Um, and, and I'll post that as well. Um, but uh, as soon as that game, you know, was over and, and I, I it was like uh, I finished it around like midnight or so, one o'clock. And um, I'm just like, I couldn't sleep because I was like, I can't wait for these clips. I can't wait for these clips. And so I've literally been waiting like hours and hours and hours and hours. Um, so I'm just this has just been, uh, you know, very excited for the Washington Commanders, very excited for Jaden Daniels. And um you know, is he looking like a superstar? No, he is a superstar, and he has arrived. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think about Jaden Daniels? Um, and do you agree, actually, um, what, what it sounds like what Nick was about to say was, with Cliff Kingsbury, these guys start off hot, and then they crumble or something like that. Um, do you think Jaden Daniels will crash and burn this season, or do you think he's going to continue to keep going up? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment, so whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions, let's get in some fights, but ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. See you next time.